Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Apostle A.G. Mullen of Abundant Life International Baptist Cathedral, located at 1518 Gum Branch Road, Jacksonville, North Carolina, where we are reaching the unreached and discipling the undiscipled throughout the world for Christ. We are excited about this day, for this is the day that the Lord hath made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. There is a word from the Lord today, and that word is, Will thou be made whole? Uh, what an awesome revelation that we receive from God as it relates uh, to God wanting us to be blessed. Uh, beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health as your soul prospers. And so God wants us to be made whole. He wants every area of our life and all things. He wants us to pray and to believe that he is concerned about it. And so we need to praise him and rejoice and pray and give our requests unto him and thank him for it in advance. We got to believe it before we receive it. Oh, it's just so many nuggets in this message. It's going to tremendously bless your heart. So just sit back, relax, and receive it now. Will thou be made whole?
I want to preach on a subject of, will thou be made whole? Will you be made whole? Amen. Amen. There are so many privileges that have been afforded to the body of Christ through the word of God. But too often we live beneath our privileges and we allow Satan to get the advantage over us. But this message today is to encourage us to take another look at how God wants us to live. Can I get a witness? Now understand something first of all. First of all, you have to understand <clears throat> that your citizenship is in heaven. Amen? For the Bible says that we are seated in heavenly places. And so we are children of God. Therefore, we have entered into his kingdom, which is above all kingdoms. Can I get a witness? So our citizenship is in heaven, but we are here in the earth. Why are we here in the earth? We are here in the earth because we are on assignment. Look at somebody and say assignment. We are ambassadors of God. Just like an ambassador from the United States goes and he is now living in a foreign country, he is still a part of the United States. And as a matter of fact, he lives in what is called an embassy. And that embassy belongs to the United States. All of that ground all of that territory where he lives is the United States property, even though it's in a foreign country. I believe somebody hearing what I'm saying. So we are here on this planet in a foreign country. 
because our citizenship is in heaven. And we are on assignments to represent God and to bring his kingdom into this earth. Can I get a witness? Therefore, it is our responsibility to live a certain way. Somebody say a certain way. <clears throat> Which is God's way. Amen. And to encourage the rest of the world to live the same way. Of course, after our assignment has been completed, we will pass from time into eternity. And we will be with God. And so shall we forever be with the Lord. But until then, we are to usher in the kingdom of God into the earth. Understand that kingdom is governmental. Kingdom is not just the church. The church is a part of the kingdom. We are the church, which is the ecclesia, the called out ones. We have been born again, washed in the blood of the Lamb. And we are citizens of another kingdom. But we are here in the earth. And we have a job to do. Can I get a witness? We are to usher the kingdom of God into the earth. And we are to usher the world into the kingdom. Therefore, I can't take sides. Look at somebody and say, don't take sides take over. Y'all ain't getting it. Y'all ain't getting it. Look at it, your neighbor one more time and say, don't take sides. Take over. You're above. You're above all of the nonsense that's going on in the world today. Can I get a witness? So the question God is asking us this morning is, will thou be made whole? I was inspired to preach this message after attending a Better Me Empowerment Conference a few weeks ago that Pastor V spoke at. And she did an excellent job where she brought out in a clear way Philippians 4 and 6, which says, be anxious for nothing. Can I get a witness? Look at your neighbor and say, be anxious for nothing. Don't allow anxiety to take you over. Don't be fretting and worrying about accumulating and acquiring things. Don't you know that your heavenly father loves you and that he cares for you and that he promised that he would supply all of your needs? So the Bible tells us to be anxious for nothing, but in everything, but in everything, but in everything, repeat it after me, in everything, hmm, by prayer, and supplication. In other words, we are supposed to go to God in prayer about everything. Not just some things, but everything. Everything that pertains to our life. Amen. We are to go to God, inquire with him as to what it is we are supposed to do. And the Bible says, if we do have a need, then we are supposed to supplicate. Amen. And she brought that thing out. But the Bible says, don't just supplicate, also give thanks. It, see, see, now you give thanks when you already know that he done done it. Can I get a witness? Even though you may not see it with your natural eyes, you got faith to believe that God has already met your need. So I'm not thanking him because I see it. I'm thanking him because I believe it. Can I get a witness? Oh, I may not see the healing just yet, but I'm healed. I, I may not see, amen, the car just yet, but I got it. I may not see my child in college just yet, but they're going. I wish I had a church in here that had some faith. Somebody say hallelujah. And so we are supposed to let our requests be made known unto God. I'm praying right now. I got a request. God help me get through this message. Amen. Whatever that tickle that was in my throat, amen, earlier this week, amen, it want to cut up right now because it don't want me to get this word out. But the devil is a liar. I say the devil is a liar. I'm standing on the word and my voice going to clear up as I preach. 
Y'all ain't saying nothing. Look at your neighbor and say, it's going to clear up. I'm in agreement with him right now in the name of Jesus. So, to become a better me on the surface may sound selfish. I had a little problem with that, heard about that conference the first time I heard about it because I was saying a better me. Okay, what is that about women just, you know, going to the spa and getting their nails done and their feet done and whatever else. But I come to find out that that was a powerful conference as they dealt with life. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. See, it sounds selfish, but when you go deeper beneath the surface, you will discover that a better me will facilitate a better us. Y'all ain't with me. Look at somebody say, a better me will cause us to be better. When all of us get better together, amen, we gonna all be better. Can I get a witness? Somebody say hallelujah. Because the truth of the matter is, is that I cannot help someone else until I get myself together. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm getting myself together. I'm getting my health together. I'm getting my finances together. I'm, I'm getting my spiritual life and walk with God together. Y'all ain't saying it like you mean it, but somebody in here say, I'm getting myself together. And because I'm getting myself together, everybody that comes in contact with me is going to be blessed. Somebody say hallelujah. When you see me, you're going to see a smile on my face. You ain't going to see nobody walking around talking about, oh, it's bad. Everything is just bad. The devil is a liar. Somebody say hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, everything ain't bad. Because I ain't bad. I'm doing all right. God's been good to me. I've got my health. I've got my strength. Your neighbor say, take another look. You see, you've been looking in all the wrong places. You've been looking at all the negativity in the world. You've been listening to all the negativity on the television and everywhere else. Amen. But God is still God. And the Bible says that this earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Though man might act foolish, God got his limitations. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And he is not going to let man go but so fire. Hallelujah. Get yourself together. Hallelujah. But I truly don't have myself together until I've been made whole. The word whole in the Greek is the word hygies. Hygies, H-Y-G-I-E-S, which means to be well, sound, and healed. It is no doubt in my mind that the word wants us to be hygies. Now go to 3 John, 3 John chapter 1, amen. 3 John 1. And he says, 3 John, and he says, The elder to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in truth. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper and in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. This is the New King James. Beloved, I pray. So this is the will of God. The will of God is that you may prosper. Prosper. That means that your life should be progressing forward in an easy manner. That you should not be constantly being set back, which means that you are not prospering. So God, look at your neighbors. He wants me to get ahead. Now, now, I know that's going to mess up your theology because you've been taught that we're supposed to be broke, busted, and disgusted. But the devil is a liar. If you look at the word, the word says that God wants me to prosper in what? All things. 
everything that pertains to my life, God wants me to prosper. I'm tired of all these church folk, amen, thinking because they got this and they got that, amen, that they can size me up. You can't size me up because when I can get a word from the Lord, he can raise me up out of my situation. Can I get a witness? Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm, I'm getting ready to be whole. They asked him, who is the man who said to you, take up your bed and walk? But the one who was healed did not know it was for Jesus had withdrawn and multitude in that place. After what Jesus found in the temple, the man, and said to him, See, you have been made well. Sin no more. Lord, have mercy. He told him that because, see, sometimes sin can cause sickness. He didn't say that his sickness was the result of sin, but sin can cause sickness. Can I get a witness? He says, lest a worse thing come upon you. The man departed and told, amen, the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him whole. Look at somebody and say, I want to be made whole. So the question is, amen, as I bring this message home here this late morning, is do you want to be made well or will thou be made whole amen and the answer to that question should be a resounding yes can i get a witness look at somebody say yes yes i want to be made whole yes i want to be made well yes i want amen healthy finances Lord have mercy. Yes, I want to go into the land of more than enough. I'm tired of dwelling in the land of just enough. When the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, I cannot no longer afford to live below my privileges. I cannot now live below what God has designed and destined for me to have. Can I have a witness? Look at somebody in here and say, I'm getting ready to go to the top. And I'm not going to the top just for me. But I'm going to the top so that I can brag on my God. I'm going to the top because some people don't believe nothing until they see something. I'm going to the top so that when I get what God said that I could have, I can look the devil in his eye and say, God been good to me. Can I get a witness? Look at your name and say, we're getting ready to be made whole. Yes, I want to be debt free. Yes, I want both of my houses to be paid off. Can I get a witness? Yes, I all of my cars are going to be paid off. Can I get a witness? Somebody say hallelujah. Yes, I want to be blessed. Yes, I want to come and go. Amen. Can I get a witness? I want to be blessed in the city. I want to be blessed in the field. I, I want my basket to be full. I want it to be pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Can I get a witness? Somebody say hallelujah. Do you want to be made whole? Yes, I want to be healed by his stripes. For the Bible said that we were healed by his stripes. Look at your neighbor and say, ain't no sickness uh, that God can't heal. Because the Bible say it's already been done. Can I get a witness out there? I've got to pray in the spirit. I've got to pray and believe that when I pray, amen, that is already done and I shall be healed. Can I get a witness? Somebody say hallelujah. Look at your neighbor, say I'm getting ready to be made whole. Yes, I want no weapon formed against me to be able to prosper. I decree and I declare I'm healed from diabetes. Everybody in here today that's been diagnosed, amen, with a A1C. Can I get a witness? I come today to tell you that the power is in the tongue. You have not because you ask not. And when you ask, you ask the miss. But you do what you can do. And God is going to do the rest. Can I get a witness? Somebody say hallelujah. You eat like you supposed to eat. And God is going to do the rest. You drink what you supposed 
chose to drink and God is going to do the rest. Can I get a witness? I'm healed from high blood pressure. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. I'm healed from cancer and every other disease. I'm saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. I have power to walk right. I've got power to talk right. I've got power to live right. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't live right because you got the power. You got to confess it. Look at your neighbor and say, confess, commit, and create. Somebody say, hallelujah. Let me say it one more time. Confess, commit, and create because you are a child of God and you can have what you say y'all ain't hearing me look at your neighbor and say I'm just like my daddy my daddy ain't the devil my daddy is God I've been born again I've been washed in the blood of the lamb and I can call those things that be not as though they were all I've got to do is confess commit and create I can create my environment I can create through the power of the Holy Ghost what God said I could have say yeah yeah say yeah I feel like preaching come on give God the glory I'm, he I'm the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Open your mouth and cause those things that be not as though they were. The Bible, I say the Bible tells me that Peter and John went up to the temple in order to pray. It was about the ninth hour and a certain man who was lame from his mother's womb, a man was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask for alms from those who entered into the temple. He was down and out. He couldn't do anything. And so they prayed that somebody would give him just a little bit of money. Lord have mercy. But Peter and John, when they came into the temple, amen, he asked them for some alms. But they, fixing their eyes on him, I need you to look your neighbor straight in the eye. Look your neighbor straight in the eye. And John and Peter said, look on us, look at us. So he gave them his attention, expecting some money. But I come to tell you, I've got something a little greater than finances. I've got something a little greater than money today. Peter said, silver and gold, have I none? But what I have, I give unto thee in the name of Jesus. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up and immediately his feet, his feet and his ankle bones began to receive strength. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I can feel some power. I feel power coming down in my feet. So the Bible says he started leaping and he stood and he entered the temple walking, leaping, and praising God. I need about 15 of you to start walking, leaping, and praising God. I 
say, won't he do it? Won't he do it? I say, won't he do it? The answer is a yes. The answer is a yes. Jesus can do anything but fail. He's able to make a way out of no way. He's able to heal your body. He's able to save your soul. He's able to bless you abundantly, exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think, because he is Jehovah Jireh. Come on. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, man. What a word. What a word. Amen. Today was just tremendous. Amen. God blessed us. Amen. Will thou be made whole? The answer is a simple yes. That's all the man who had the infirmity had to do was just say yes. Not come up with any excuses, not to beat around the bush, but just say, Lord, I do want to be made whole. And I hope that's your confession today as well, that you want God to be intricately involved in every area of your life to bless you financially, spiritually, mentally, and physically. That every area of your life would be covered. So that's uh, what the Lord blessed us with today. And I hope and pray that you were tremendously blessed uh, by that word. Now remember, God wants you also to have a personal relationship with him. Uh, and so I want to pray with you right now. And um, just pray this short prayer with me. Dear God, I come to you as humble as I know how. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me. Cleanse me. Make me brand new. By faith, I believe that you died on the cross and that you rose again on the third day. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. I receive you as my Savior. By faith, I believe that my name is in the Lamb's Book of Life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray that prayer, amen, uh, you have entered into the kingdom of God. Your name has been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Now, you can be a blessing also to help us to get this word out and to continue to spread the gospel, uh, to continue to reach the unreached and disciple the undisciple throughout the world for Christ. That is our mission. That is our goal. And uh, uh, you will see on the screen the different ways that you can sow into this local church who's doing the international work. And uh, we will be so grateful and so thankful. Be a blessing to our church. Here are the eight ways to give. You can send your offering or gift by mail to 1518 Gum Branch Road, Jacksonville, North Carolina, 28540. Or you can drop off your envelope at the church. We also have our ALIBC app. You can also text ALIBC Give to 833-655. 4426. We have the Push Pay app, and we also have our Giblify app at Abundant Life Baptist Church. We have our website, which is www.albc.org, and our new Cash app at Dollar Sign Abundant 1518. Please ensure that the name of the Cash app account says Abundant Life Jacks. Remember, God loves a cheerful giver. So until we see you again, know that the thief only come, but for to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Until we see you again, you live the abundant life.